needs to be converted into decimal form. So we also need to have a method to convert binary to decimal. Okay, this is reverse of the particular method that we have done. Okay, we used division method to for binary to decimal. So we will have a multiplicative method, obviously, to do uh, reverse conversion from binary to decimal. So can we uh, see this um, binary number? So we will start from the binary number. Now our objective is this. Okay. Well, our objective is this this binary number and our objective is to get a decimal number equivalent to this binary number and we will use multiplication with place values okay multiplication with place values matter so the name of the method we will use is multiplication with place values method. What happens as we know that every number has a place value. You can you can remember uh, we did it initially also that every number has a place value. Suppose this was the number and uh, we have okay. This is the this is the number we had its place values such as 10 raised to power 4, 10 raised to power 3, 10 raised to power 2, 10 raised to power 0, 10 raised to power 1. Okay, so, so let us now recall back when we do when we did uh, 4, 5, 7, 9, 6 here decimal number. Uh, we uh, write its uh, place values is 4 into 10 raised to power 4, 5 into 10 raised to power 3, 7 into 10 raised to power 2, plus 9 into 10 raised to power 1, plus 6 into 1, or we can write it 10 raised to power 0. Okay, so uh, can you draw an analogy that is 4, 5, 7, 9, 6 is a decimal place, the decimal place. So that is why the digits individual these are symbols or digits symbols this is base okay and this when we uh, when we uh, expand this number so every digit is multiplied by with a place value okay every digit is multiplied by its place value okay and place value you can observe that place value has increasing power and this power is one less than the sequence of sequence of the digit in the number this 4, 5, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9, 6, we have this end is called LSB and this end is called MSB, least significant bit or here we will use the word digit, least significant digit and this is most significant digit least significant digit and most significant digit now why why, why this significance significance is because this has this this has the lowest place lowest place value and this digit has the highest place value. Why? This has the lowest place value is 10 raised to power 0. And this has the highest place value as 10 raised to power 4. Okay. So, the effect of this digit is very less on this number. Because if you remove this 6 and make this as 7 only. 
So what will happen? Four five seven nine seven and earlier number was four five seven nine six. There is only a difference of one number between them. So this is a very sig insignificant difference. Okay, but if you change this four, now you make it five. Forty five thousand nine. 796 it becomes 55,796 now can you see the level of significance of this particular digit okay so significance is very important to understand that the lower side has the low significance and the higher side has the higher significance and the significance is because of the power of the base they are going to multiply Okay, so this is decimal number system expansion. So, can do we have a similar expansion of binary number system also? What we have seen, this is the decimal number system expansion. Okay, uh, we have a decimal numbers decimal uh, number and its expansion uh, in the corresponding place values. Okay, now do we can we uh, have a uh, place value? Uh, expansion of this particular this particular binary number and the same number is the multiplication with place values method okay so what will be done is I will write the number now convert okay we are doing convert We have this binary number. Now, what we are doing, we are writing its expansion. Okay, so the base is two. So we will have how many digits we have? How many bits we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if I give them expansion, so the power will be two raised to power zero. It would be multiplied by something. The power will be 2 raised to power 1. It would be multiplied by something. And the power will be 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3, and 2 raised to power 4, and 2 raised to power 5. Why 5? Because this is the 0 digit. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Okay? So, We will have a multiplication here. We will have a multiplication here. We will have a multiplication here. And we will have a multiplication here also. Okay. Now what will come here? The place values are not going to change. The place values are not going to change. Every time you will convert a binary number into a decimal number or you will make an expansion of this particular number, what you need to do, you need to simply write these powers in increasing order in this way and the maximum power will be one less than the total number of digits are six. So the maximum power will be Five only, and it will start from zero. Okay, now tell me what will come in the blank spaces. These blank spaces. These blank spaces are for these digits. You can see here. Okay, if these were the blank spaces, and these are the powers in increasing order. Okay. Can you see what, what came in these blank spaces were the digits of the decimal number system. Now we are working on binary number system. Obviously, this, the, uh, these blank spaces will be filled by the digits or in the binary number system, we say them bits of particular number. So I will write it clearly. 
it is in binary and it is expanded like uh, you start from the LSB. 0 is the digit and since it is LSB the power will be 0. Then the next digit is 1 and the power will be 2 is to power 1. The next digit is 0. The power is 2 is to power 2 plus the power is the digit is 1 and the power is 2 is to the power 3 plus digit is again 0 the power is 2 is to the power 4 plus it is uh, the digit the bit is 1 and the power is 2 is to the power 5 okay if I solve this 1 into 2 is to the power 5 is 32 just remember the powers of 2 till 10 okay I may write it write them here also 2 is to power 0 is 1, 2 is to power 1 is 2, 2 is to power 2 is 4, 2 is to power uh, 3 is 8, 2 is to power 4 is 16, 2 is to power 5 is 32, 2 is to power 6 is 64, 2 is to power 7 is 120, 8, 2 is to power 8 is uh, uh, 256, 2 is to power 9 is 512 and 2 is to power 10 is 1024 and so on. Yeah, but I would suggest you to remember these uh, powers of 2 by heart for your uh, whole life. Okay, so 1 into uh, 32 plus 0 into 16 plus 1 into 8. You can confirm the powers from left side, right? 0 into 4 plus 1 into root plus 0 into 1. Okay, uh, I can write more 32 plus 0 plus 8 plus 4. Sorry, not 4. It is 0 plus 2 plus 0. Okay, there is 32 plus 8, 40 plus 2, 42. 42 in decimal so can, did we got this binary number is belongs to this decimal number we started from decimal number we started from decimal number do you remember we started from decimal number we started from this decimal number and we wanted to convert it into binary then this was the binary that we received and this binary when we do a reverse, uh, the reverse conversion, so we need to get 42. Yes, we received 42. Okay. If I note down this, if I note down this number, triple one, triple zero, double one. Okay. Let us convert one more number. Triple one, triple zero double one in binary okay so let us convert it first you count the number of bits okay this is one two three four five six seven eight you have total eight bits right eight bits means the highest power will be seven so one will be multiplied this one will be multiplied by two is to power seven plus second one will be multiplied by two is to power six Third one will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 5. Then 3 zeros are there. So can I write 3 zeros? But the power will be 2 raised to the power 4, 2 raised to the power 3, 2 raised to the power 2. Okay. Now 1 will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 and 0 will be multiplied by, sorry, last one is 1 will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0. So if I solve them, 2 raised to the power 7 is 128. Plus 2 is to the power 6 is 64. Plus 2 is to the power 5 is 32. Uh, plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. Okay. So if I count them all, this would give me uh, 9128 plus uh, uh, 99. Okay. This is 2, 2, in decimal. Okay. Do you remember? 227 was converted into this number. Now we converted this number back to 227. Okay. So I hope 
I am clear with the place value concept that how the place values of a number system are used to convert a number system to decimal number system. Okay, you can take this as a general method also. Here the base was 2, so we took the place values of 2. If the um, base is 8, means we have an octal number, so the, all the place values will be of 8, of the power of 8. And if it is a hexadecimal number system, all the place values will be of uh, 16. Okay. So this is an analogy between um, this and 